they did say in the bid that um, the four persons who are the major shareholders are, what, what's the terminology I use? A class or something business people in, in Guatemala. Um, now these people submitted a proposal to us based on the rules of our RFP. If, if they are awarded a PPA and that project is built, um, by setting up here, they have agreed to be subjected to our laws. Um, and under our laws, well, before we get to the law, the RFP, we indicated in the RFP that during, that any PPA will include stepping rights for BEL. In other words, if that project is built and the person who owns the project is not operating the project according to the agreement, that sort of thing, BEL will have the rights under certain circumstances to take in, to step in and actually take over operation of the company. They won't own it, but to take over operation. Um, under our laws too, in times of emergency, and we've seen this happen twice in the past, the government has the authority again to assume control of any generating asset in this country under certain circumstances in the public interest. Um, and that has, that has happened twice recently. Um, in 2009, when we had last supply from Mexico, the minister had issued a warrant taking control of uh, a third unit owned by Babcol, and the minister then signed a three-party agreement with BL, Babcol, and himself for Babcol to use that, that third unit to generate electricity to sell BL while we didn't have the supply from Mexico.